So, drop all you want. Drop all you want. Everybody go! No, it's, it's definitely huge now. I think it's uh, only going to get bigger with the proud uh, generations now. People, little kids and, and young adults are competing and playing games. It's like it's all video games and inside a lot today. Um, I grew up playing video games and, um, you know, I think for me it's just like another outlet for competition, so it's just another way to have fun. Things like this are really fun. I play some Overwatch for sure. Um, I also play a lot of League of Legends. Um, on the Jazz, we always play FIFA, so we we'll always play FIFA against each other. That's that rookie. When I was a rookie with Jeremy Evans, we always played against each other, so that's kind of continued since then. Um, I, I think last year we also did this thing where we all bought um, Nintendo DSs and we played Mario Kart against each other on the plane, uh, which was pretty cool. We had like seven of us hooked up, and so um, video games has been a big part of our team. Oh man, for FIFA, probably Joe Ingles. Yeah. Um, Pretty good. He's all right. Uh, Rudy likes to play. Uh, a lot of them play with FIFA. They're just not very good. Uh, and then other than that, like Rudy, Rudy's a big video game guy. Dante is a big video game guy. And, uh, I think as I start to get older, I'm going to start to see more and more of the rookies playing video games. But like I said, it's just kind of what you do growing up. And when guys are younger, but when I came into the league as a rookie, none of the older guys played them. So. Uh, it's starting to be fun for me. Oh, well, it's so cool, you know, that Gordon's a big-time basketball player as well as a video game player, you know. Kind of growing up uh, in the closet video game playing, you know. It's not the cool thing to do. And so it's really awesome that, uh, you know, Gordon uh, is a professional athlete playing video games. Kind of brings some credibility to the scene. The legitimate sport, you know, eSports. And so he's uh, kind of repping the future. You know, a lot of uh, professional athletes and ex-professional athletes are really getting into the scene, so it's good to see someone who's currently playing NBA basketball really repping the esports scene. Um, that would be awesome if I could do that, unfortunately. I think, I think the like, average lifespan of a professional video game is like, less than that of an NBA player. Really? Those, those guys, I mean, it's intense grinding that they do. They put in so much time. I have so much respect for, for them as, as professional video game players. I know they put in like, 10 to 12 hours a day. Um, you know, I can only work out like three or four hours before my body is but physically it's too much. So um, maybe maybe like uh, owning a team or maybe running like a tournament, something like that, I could do something like that. To have the opportunity to partner with Hy HyperX and, and do events like this at the Microsoft Store is, is uh, something I really honestly never thought I would end up doing. Um, I thought maybe when I was growing up there would be a chance to play basketball for a living, but never video games for a living, especially my parents. They would have never thought that either. So um, doing an event like this is, is really cool, really fun.